Good morning, guys. So, a few classes ago, we started to talk about the history uh, of Canada and how Canada was formed, how people first got to Canada. If you remember from those uh, discussions and from those classes, we started off talking about the indigenous people of Canada, and those are uh, the natives, the people who were, who seem to have lived there forever, right? Uh, so the First Nations people uh, in America, we would call them Native Americans. Uh, in Canada, they call them First Canadians, that group of people. Um, and we know from uh, the video that we watched in class about the history of the, uh, the First Nations people is that they came across the land bridge up in Alaska from Asia. Uh, you know, it was frozen and they marched across and then they sporadically uh, came down and migrated into Canada and eventually they came into the United States that same way. Uh, mostly they were chasing after their food, right? Some people stayed way up north there in that Arctic region, right? Uh, those people are the Inuit folks. Others started to come down into the warmer climates uh, along that was more along the border of the United States. Um, besides those people, in the late 1400s, we had Europeans that started to come into the Americas. Well, even before the Europeans, we had some Scandinavians, some Vikings, uh, with um, Leif Erikson who came and uh, tried, attempted to colonize the area that's today Newfoundland. He called it Vineland, uh, but that, those colonies were unsuccessful. And then later on, we had uh, the French who came over with Jacques Cartier, and uh, Samuel de Champlain. We had Giovanni Caboto, uh, also known as John Cabot, uh, who came over and claimed some land in, that, uh, in, in what's today Canada for England. And then much later on, we learned that even some people who were in the British colonies in America, the 13 colonies there along the eastern coast of the United States, some of those people eventually went up and lived into Canada. And what this created was a mixture of many different cultures of people. And that's a word I want us to think about here for a second, is the word culture. Culture is a way of life for a group of people. It's their behaviors, their beliefs, their values, the symbols that they uh, accept. Um, all things that are handed down from one generation to the next. And these people just sort of accept their culture without really thinking about it. You and I, we have a culture, right? Our culture is probably different. There's probably some things that I do, uh, some values that I have, some beliefs that I have that are different from your beliefs. There's probably some foods that I typically eat in my household that you may not eat. Uh, my family comes from a Polish background, and we love pierogies. But I know that there are a lot of people, including my son, who hates pierogies, right? I can't even imagine a world without pierogies. If love and pierogies are wrong, I don't want to be right. But that's part of my culture. The type of music I listen to, the language that I use, the dialect that I talk in. I grew up around Pittsburgh. I have a tendency to say things like yuns right? Or we're going to go down and play in the crick. Whereas people here in Northwestern PA, they might not use that same dialect. That's all part of my culture. I want you to think for a second. What are some things that are part of your culture that maybe your friends don't do? Is there a special meal that your family eats around holidays that your friends don't eat around holidays. Now, I'm not talking about turkey dinner at Thanksgiving. Everybody eats turkey dinner at Thanksgiving, right? Uh, a lot of people do, right? I'm talking about maybe something that's, uh, that's special, that's different from everybody else, right? Maybe there's a holiday that you practice uh, that, that you participate in that's different than, than some of your friends. Uh, think about that for a second and see if you can come up with something that makes your culture unique. I know uh, there's a number of different things in, in my culture uh, that make up my culture that make it a little bit different than everybody else. So we have this 
unique blend of people who are going to make up Canada. And we're going to see how Canada's culture today in our lesson, how Canada's culture is going to be reflected by that group of people. So for today's lesson, we're going to be reading pages 283 to 285 in our textbook. They're going to deal with culture, the word we just talked about in the video, um, and also immigration and migration. Remember that theme that we talked about in the five themes of geography of movement? Well, this whole lesson seems to be focused on the movement of people, right? It reminds me of a Bob Marley song. Movement of just people, right? Maybe you're not familiar with that song, and I apologize for my sinning, singing there. Uh, so we're going to be focused on culture and then that, that, uh, that theme of movement. Um, there is a worksheet in Schoology that I'm going to ask you to complete that goes along with this section. So it's just that culture and that immigration and migration section in the textbook. Please pay close attention to the graphics in here uh, in our textbook. They're really, really fantastic. There's some great information there that I don't want you to miss as you're going through this lesson. I hope that you all have a great day and have a great weekend this weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.